This young sister had battled cancer, been laid off from her dream job, found out she was the other woman in a relationship, and that was the good news. The global empowerment leader realized early that her happiness always lives inside her own hands. She has now been committed to helping all of you unlock success and happiness with their own story. Sharia! Hey, Jackson! Connection not only gives us a life worth living, but it actually gives us life. When you have a tight circle of friends that you regularly see, you can extend your life by 15 years. And when the University of California studied 3,000 women diagnosed with breast cancer, they noticed something. Women who had a close knit of friends were four times more likely to survive than those who had a weak support system. Excuse me. <laughs> Everybody take out a dollar. And if you don't have a dollar, that's part of the conversation. You need to carry some more cash. Today I invite you to let this dollar serve you. Because I can't have you leaving a single more cent behind. In order for this dollar to serve you, you have to understand that. That says your value is not the same as being paid your worth. There's no dollar amount on how much your value is. in a world that tells you just to focus on the circumstances, girl, how much does he make, versus really staying focused on the characteristics. Um, Doing an meeting with Michelle, Michelle Obama, Obama. Yeah. listening to her tell us that she watches our show every day as she's Insane. getting her hair done. Yeah, <laughs> that's that everything. I know, did you tell her, I said, hey, did you tell her? <laughs> I'll let you to do yes. 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 We are here, it is the finale of the Fifty Shades franchise, yeah. Fifty Shades Freed, and I'm here with the star himself, Mr. Jamie Dornan. Hello, Mr. Gray. <laughs> <laughs> In my book, uh, Boss Bride, The Powerful Woman's Playbook for Love and Success, I talk about the importance of having your love it and success squad. It, yes, coming out. And so, I mean, literally, I mean, Megan is such an example, right? Because when we watched that first interview with them, and it's like, well, how did you meet Prince Harry, the most eligible bachelor? And she's like, oh, through mutual friends. You talk Talk about someone who has been intentional to cultivate a circle around her to have someone she knows who's like, you know what, let me introduce you to my friend. Right. He's kind of a prince girl. And I am so excited to be here at Chase because love may not cost a thing, but to keep your relationship going strong, it takes cold, hard cash. How can women start empowering themselves both personally and professionally on a daily basis? Absolutely. There's so many, it is so important, A, that you do do that, because one of the things I talk about in sort of Yes, You Are a Boss Bride is that the golden rule has expired. We now live in a society that goes by a platinum rule, and the platinum rule is people do not treat you the way you treat them. People treat you the way you treat yourself. And so when you love on yourself, when you model, this is how you treat me, this is how you talk to me, this is how you pay me, then people will respond in kind. So empowerment and taking care of yourself isn't just a nice idea, it's a necessity for you to have the types of success you deserve. His superpower, and for any career king and queen, is really you are driven. And we know this is a hustle time where everyone is starting businesses at record rates. The only thing, though, if you are a career king or queen, is that you can really make sure you get balance in your life because you don't want to spend so much time on a career yeah. you're not nurturing real life relationships. Why are you looking at me? I'm not looking. I'm not. I think I'm that could be your king. You were just, y'all just, just staring at me. I just, you're, you're or is it, am I feeling self-conscious? I that think what's you're feeling a little self-conscious. Past, I've often struggled in staying in relationships longer than I should have. So how do you know when to call it quits? If you're asking that question, it's probably about time yeah. to call it quits. <laughs> it is our obligation to do three things. To openly ask, courageously answer, and actively listen to a simple question. How are you? How are you? How are y'all doing at the top? How are you? And it is on us to authentically answer. And so, yes, I had an incredible time at Oprah's Super Soul Sunday brunch. And yes, I was getting over heartbreak. I was battling being overwhelmed. I ate half a box of donuts after campaigning for Stacey Abrams for governor on election night. So it's on us to authentically open up. And when we open up, we realize we aren't alone. Um, what are you gonna do with this feather? Nisi, I think that's all the time we have. Thanks for tuning in. Sharia Jackson, thanks for watching. And thank you, ladies. Thank you. Thank you.